Hello guys, it's me, um, of course here again, and today we'll be playing uh, the City of Wizard season random breakout. Yeah, I lost all the Crescent Moon jellies. Will you help me look for them? If you accept, game speed will increase by ten percent, and you receive additional forty thousand points for Crescent Moon jellies. Sure, why not? I mean, I've seen a few people play through this map before. I've never actually played it myself, but I know there's a lot of Crescent Moon Jellies and... Game speed increased by 10%? Um... God damn it, okay. Mm, why don't we take Cross on, I guess. Crozen's Crozen's good, you know. She's still in the Ch Champions League meta. I'm looking for the owner of a lost magical item, but I don't have enough clues to find them. I think Crescent Moon Charlie should help me track them. Your help will be appreciated. Sure. Glad you could help. How about I collect 300 and you collect? How about I collect 500 and you collect 300? I think that should be enough to get more clues. The next event will become available if you collect at least 300 Crescent Moon Jellies total. Alright, let's do this. I wonder how much time it take to get me to collect 300 crazy moon gem. Oops. Let's try again. Mm, chocolate. Chocolate croissants are nice too. What do you think? Croissant cookie is a plain croissant. I would say for the timekeeper update, rather than timekeeper getting buff, it was actually cross on cookie. Oddly enough. The thing is, it's really cool though. Surprising enough, there are a lot of yellow bear jellies in this map. I didn't expect there to be. Somehow. I wonder if this is going to be the last season of Random Breaker? Probably not, right? But I mean, they can't have that many maps lying around out there. Of course, they're using all the old ones for random breakout. And it looks like recently they added to the cheer squads. Since damage for destroying obstacles used to be 9000, now it's 9500. I don't have any legendary heads mixed up now that I think about it. 
I also for sea fairies, but that's because it's the weekly breakout reward. And you get it for free. The rest I really can't be bothered to get, honestly. That's why I say one of the best things about like the dragon legendary cookies is that their pets are epic. So you don't have to spend any diamonds or mileage on getting legendary pets for them. I also think it's a very cool feature, you know. Whenever Crossing Cookie uses um, a legendary pet, she gets a uh, extra boost to her skill ability. So now that she attracts um, Rainbow Badger at least, and the light thing, during her normal skill. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was really lucky. I almost forgot there's a bonus time down there. So as I was saying, it was a nice touch because during um, Crossing Cookie's normal skill, she doesn't have that extra boost, so she can't attract Rainbow Bear Jellies. Wow, 500. It's a lot of points. Yep, this should be enough for one last skill boost, I think. There we go. Five hundred and eighty-eight million. It's a good score. Thank you for collecting Crescent Moon Jellies. Looks like the clues are guiding us towards the square. Let's go. Obtain the first clue. Plus one hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred fifty-five points for Crescent Moon Jellies. Cream puff cookies at the square. The moon cookie has explained what is going on. I think I've seen the letters written on it before, but I'm too hungry to remember right now. I'm actually on my way to the jelly shop. Could you please get me some jellies? Thank you. Could I have 500 crescent moon jellies? That's quite a lot. <laughs> Legendary. Meh. Ananas cookie. Um, sure. Let's take ninja cookie. Here's a uh, almond chocolate chip hammer, which gives me extra points for destruction. And there's also a normal buff, so that's why I want to take him. Say suppressing love. I have a lot more rare cookies mixed up and common cookies. If that's supposed to be a thing. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's something to do with the fact that um when you open like normal cookie chests in the gacha shop. You get rare cookies as along with epic cookies, but you don't get commons. One, two... Ah!
I mean, my luck has never been that good, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get first this time. I kind of wanna. I haven't maxed out snake fruit cookie yet. So if I get like... Oh, oh no, the batch at least. Okay. This breakout map is cool though. I wonder which season this is from. Parallel stop. Okay, there we go. 60 million. Surprisingly, I'm still at number 3. Next copy. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? A 3% chance. Mm. Let's ah, should we do this? How I express myself. What I think about it, I don't think Master Cookie has ever gotten a buff before. I mean, she sure has a lot of costumes though. Very common costumes. Every time you play the costume gacha, it's like you start to curse her. Because her skins are everywhere and they all look the same. <laughs> but yeah, she's never been buff ever since release, if I'm not wrong. I guess she's just easy to make skins for. That's why there's so many of hers in the costume gacha. I got this bad. Three percent chance, and I get it. You know what? Never mind. A lot of empty. Actually, there are a lot of different jellies around here. I'm not sure how to say it. But it's not very nice to for them to get. You know what? This is awkward. I guess you just cut this out of video later. We pretend it never happened. Uh, I'm bad at this. Anyways, since Christmas jellies are basically the most important jelly right now, I should focus on not missing them. And there we go, another bit of bad jelly again. Because why not? Come on. Surprising me at number four. All right. Mm. 
One, two. There we go. Oh. I nearly forgot that we had the uh, resurrection treasure. Oh, number one. One, two. There we go. 398 million. Next combi. I remember where I've seen these letters now. Obtain the second clue. That's 155,555 points for crescent and jellies. These are characters used by wizards. I can't see what it says. They're covered in pain. Wait! Someone shouted from behind. Who could it be? A case? Genius detective at your service. What? You have all the evi evidence? Leave it to me. But before I get started, could I have a bit of snacks too? The next event will become available if you collect 700 crescent moon jellies. Bro, you guys are greedy, man. No, I don't think there are a lot of fruits and bear jellies in this map, so... We draw... We draw, please? Oh... Uh, okay. Just think yoga cookie. Yoga is the journey of the self. You know the dynamite treasure, whenever it activates, it sounds like muted fireworks for some reason. Here. Maybe I should have taken that buff just now. Well, hindsight is always 2020, I guess. Library. Oh, bit the bed at least following me around. Another bit of bed jelly party again. What is this loud man? Radio? I don't know. It's very catchy. I really feel like humming every time it comes on. Three hundred ninety-eight. Oh, number one. Yes. One, two. Four hundred seventy four million. Next combi. Oh, look 
this dragon, my baby. Ah, go damn it! I can choose you. Permanent super magnetic arm. Yeah, let's do it, man. <sighs> my lotus dragon, I miss you. Come back. Ah, <sighs> okay. Zero one one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero 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 one 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 zero zero zero. Ah. Oh, are you interested in cookie bots? No, thank you. My math has always been bad. My IQ is too low for smart things like that. Another bit of jelly puppy again. What's up with my lung? Man? Yeah, now this is what I had this bath for. It's so satisfying, you know. When you can just magnetize everything and then you just leave none of the any jellies behind. Another bit of a jelly party. <sighs> wow. Library again. But this time we have a lot more crescent moons. Oh, I got lucky there. I was just about to miss the pole treasure, but because of the bonus time, I still got in the end. Stage 8 now, clock tower. Another bit of bad jelly, but I'm gonna be like this, man. Two more? Are you kidding me, bro? Hey. It's a literal 3% chance. I've gotten so many of them. It's unreal. There you go, 100%. Another HP potion. are supposed to be those obstacles probably compass or clocks ah well that went surprisingly well I thought I was gonna die before I could activate my skin Six hundred and four million. Next combi. Hmm. One hundred fifty thousand points for rainbow pair chase. Um. Oh, Sixty-six thousand. An epic puff. Is it worth it? 
makes it worth it. Maybe. Only time will tell. I've got a lot of buffs here. Hehe. <laughs> HP portion again. This map is really generous. Another bonus time. How many bonus times has that been? Four? I mean, friggin' Lotus Paradise, if I was not wrong, there's only like two. Millennial Tree or so. There are only two. And as for. Yogurkan Palace, or. Honestly, I can't remember the name for it, but. Just. It has yogurt in the name. It didn't even have any bonus times. to watch out for those. The background makes me feel dizzy, man. Just a little bit. I like it, it's cool. You see the feeling of ascending in a staircase. All the way up. Yeah, clock towers this. Round and round in a circle, spiraling upwards. Yet another HP potion. This music right now, it's more of a contemplative sort, don't you think? It's more quiet. Let's... Mm, how do you call it? Less attention gathering. It's still a repeat of the same theme song. But now I think they've added in bells. Especially with that slight trail upwards in the notes. Really give a more magical feeling. You know? Stage 10, Clock Tower Roof. This is the boss music we're all looking for. Haha. <laughs> you know, quiet music leading up to suspense and then boom. One, two. Okay. Oh. One, two. 640 million. Next combi. Hey soft. Do you see the colorful paint? This wasn't a lost item. It's Mini Jackson number no. two's parts. Gumball cookie appeared at the square. Oh, I was looking for Mini Jackson number no. two's parts. Thanks. All the cookies gathered at the square cheered and clapped. <gasps> Starfruit! Oh my god! Oh, 
Oh, okay. I was hoping it'd be a legendary buff, but whatever. Lychee! Moonlight is... Yeah, Moonlight. If I'm not wrong, picking Moonlight in this map will give you a buff from her. Yep. I had a dream. I was searching for something in the City of Wizards. If you are awake, will you bring me something that shows signs of magic? What should I bring? Magic Crystal. Incredible, where did you find it? As a token of gratitude, the moon will light your path. Plus 77 thons, points for Crescent Moon Chance. Yeah. In my dreams, I dance with the stars. Oh, this map is difficult, man. Ah, pick up bitch, at least again. <gasps> I got hit. You know what, never mind. Let's continue playing. Oh. Oh, I forgot I had the treasure. I can't see. The pet, the pet took away everything. It destroyed all the obstacles, so I couldn't see where I was supposed to jump. <gasps> hey man, it's not very nice. You know my jump and slide buttons used to be different. I flipped them around because I want them more of a challenge, but now I'm I've gotten used to it again. <laughs> ah why do I keep getting hit there? Whatever. Let it be. No. The stars to protect us. I hope they will, man. You gotta stop getting hit. What do you want me to do over there? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay. I still got hit again and again. This is the fourth time I've gotten hit. Yeah, getting the epic buff for rainbow bear jellies was definitely a good idea. There's so many of them in this map. Number one again. Yeah. I got lucky. Very lucky. Something bad is definitely gonna happen. I can tell you as much. Just wait. 
I'm going to end up breaking a leg because of this lock. <gasps> Pet! Yes! One, two! Oops. And camera actually isn't that bad. Because it gives you points for destruction. Ah, I missed. Cauliflower cookie. I wonder if that's gonna be a broccoli cookie one day. Yes. One, two. There we go. Is like you think since cauliflower always talks about her researching useless stuff or at least stuff that's not very popular I wonder if there's broke cookies cookies in poverty Oh, this one cheesecake. Ah, got hit. Never mind. Jump, 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 double jump. There we go. The rainbow um ingredients, I guess, in cauliflower cookies skill are the most important. Of course they give a lot of extra points. Ah go hit again. And again. There we go. 663 million. Oh, cherry ball cookie. Um, not bad. House figurine was recently buffed. And she's also still in the meta. Hmm, sure, why not? Spike. 
wonder what those numbers are supposed to mean. 5751. Five, They're always different. have complained about the peach treasure being RNG based for before or something like that. Oh with the bad jelly again. And I got hit. I mean, quite a big problem in this game is probably the RNG aspects of it. Like how safe the new event Tough Cookie Club. Like this, no point you see it's skill based but it still requires a, on a lot, lot of luck to win. There we go, 496 million. Next combi. Hmm. Too bad this is the last run. If not, I would have chosen Skate to Cookie, I guess, for the epic buff. Mm. None of these are good. Sixty-six thousand points. Is it worth it? Um. What you wear speaks volumes about who you are. Did you know Bonbon has a limited skin? Lishi and Cell about half one. For the super, for the super fashion week again. For the Super Fashion Week event a few months ago, we basically had a chance to earn either Choco Bonbons Limited Skin or Sour Belts. One. Mm, I chose Ch Choco Bonbons because I like her. She's very round, very cute. And as you can see here, her magic candy ability is basically those designer bags and goods that she hands out. You have to slide for a certain amount of seconds and then you get them. They're all worth a few million points each. So it's important you finish them before each skill activation. Because they all reset afterwards.
here we go. This should be our last skill activation. Here. Right, this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!